Outside of the major city centers, Vancouver Island is known for its natural beauty and its wildlife. Out in the small community of Arrington, the North Island Wildlife Recovery Centre continues to grow and to bridge the divide between the people and the animals that share this island. So the purpose of the centre uh, is to care for ill, injured and orphaned wildlife and to educate the public on wildlife and environmental issues. And that all started back in about 1985. And it was just the two of us that were pounding some nails up to make some cages. The centre has come a long way in the 30 years since Sylvia and Robin Campbell started it. And for visitors that haven't been in a while, a visit to the centre during its public visiting hours is a great way to learn more. But now there's another great way to experience and learn from the center. Together with director Bob Ennis, they've created an award-winning video. A great reason to get the video is to see what happens behind the scenes here at the Recovery Center. Susan Teed, as the Wellness to Wilderness video editor, has likely seen the video more than anyone else. I believe 45 times or more. And I think that the fact that I can still watch it and enjoy it is a testament to the amazing, rich content that's in it. Our expertise is in um, eagles, raptors, and black bear. And the program that we have for the black bears is um, exceptional to none. In the video, the careful care of bear cubs that have lost their mom and of Canute, the resident black bear at the Wildlife Recovery Center, show how well the staff and volunteers help in wildlife recovery. A lot of the video also highlights eagle care. The rehabilitation of the eagles, which you're going to see lots of on the, uh, in the film. Um, we have one of the largest eagle flight cages in Canada of its kind, and um, we have uh, the expertise of a, a, a volunteer veterinary who comes in and looks at these eagles as well. Or an eagle who needs oil removed from its feathers. A couple of eagle releases are uh, set free on Eagle Mountain, which is very awesome to see. Julie Mackey, who works for the center, is a wildlife manager here. She has some fascinating rescues that you can see in the video. She's out in the water, she's running with nets. The rescues, animal recoveries and releases provide for a heartfelt video that plays for just over an hour. And it's begun to win awards, including one for a music video and song. I came on my sister alone and afraid the scenes that she fell from the sky we knew it was a good video but when you win awards it just makes it better for the um, the public to uh, to understand all the work that went into it it took two years plus for for that video to be done and all by volunteer help the whole idea of entering the film in festivals is to promote wildlife recovery and rehabilitation and, and what the centre does here. If you do buy a video, it's very important that you know that all of the proceeds go to the care and the recovery of the animals here at the centre. So please, even if you're not inclined, someone in your family will love this video. The North Island Wildlife Recovery Center reopens to the public on March 7th, but on March 6th, you can join in on their Learning from the Bones event at the Qualicum Civic Center from 1.15 to 4 p.m. and the Wellness to Wilderness video will be playing for all to see. Just about everybody says they get uh, something in their throat or it tears. It's really quite amazing what they do here and you can't help but be touched by the what you see in the video. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Derek Johnstone.